What's up, everybody? Today, we are going to be doing a little uh, bracket fight from bracketfights.com. This one is just a little one I stumbled upon. I haven't really looked much through it. I just saw what it was and it was like, Daddy choke me. Let's do this and film it. So it is a WWE March Madness, and I know what you're thinking. Hardest part of the ring. Why are you releasing a March Madness video when it's May? And my answer to you would be go fuck yourself. So we are going to go right into it. By the way, I'm just going to lay this out here. This is a personal bracket or the results or our, our personal taste. This is not a best. Who is the best wrestler ever? This is who the hardest part of the ring likes the most. Because I don't even know sometimes. I don't even know if I like myself most times. But we're going to figure out which wrestler I like, I guess. Let's get into it. All right, so we got... So I guess I just... So we're going to choose. All right, I like it. I like it. Single a limb. All right, so we got uh, Shawn Michaels versus Big Boss Man. I'm be honest. A lot of his WCW stuff soured me on old uh, Ray Trailer. Um, no, he was good early on, but you can't, you can't. Uh, Shawn Michaels, come on, what are we doing? All uh, right, Mankind versus Kevin Nash. Now, my question is, is this just Mankind or are we talking McFoley? I'm going to assume it's just Mankind because maybe I don't know who else is on this list. So maybe we, we might see others. So I'm going to go off of Mankind. Versus Kevin Nash. But do I include Diesel? You know what? I'm just going to include the guys and all their characters. How about that? Um, person. Man. It's actually a pretty tough one. I'm going to go... Fuck me, man. This is already hard. I might go Kevin Nash. Just because I liked the character more. I thought his Diesel run was pretty underrated for the most part. I'm just more of a Nash guy. I don't know. I'm going to go Nash here. <laughs> Roman Reigns versus Mark Henry. Somebody going to get their wig split. And it's Mark Henry because Roman wins this one. Goldberg versus Johnny Impact or Elite or whatever the hell he is nowadays. Johnny Caballero. Well, you know what? People don't like Goldberg. I'm a big Goldberg guy. <laughs> let's, let's go. Go in, go in Bill. Billiam here. Randy Orton versus RVD. I feel like so little of RVD's career was really interesting. Like, I think his ECW run was great. I think his, like, first year or two in WWE was great. Otherwise, I could take him or leave him. Randy's more consistent to me. Gotta go RKO here. CM Punk versus Big John Stud. Big John, go fuck yourself. <laughs> CM Punk wins. Sting versus Jericho. Um, Jericho's another one of those guys where it's like, such a small percentage of his career is worth a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like very good but like god he's, he's just spent so much time being a who gives a fuck character including today uh sting sting's looking pretty delicious in this picture by the way holy shit i think jericho's got to win this one right well no it's who i like more i like sting more fuckers jericho uh bret hart versus okay get get alberto out of here what is he doing on this list Oh, God. Hogan versus Honky Tonk. Honky Tonk has zero positive attributes, whereas Hogan does have nice triceps. So, I'm going to go Hulkster here. Kofi Kingston versus Jake the Snake. Now, Jake, I'm going to be honest, Jake's a little bit before my time, so I'm going to have to go Kofi. Just based on that. Batista, Big Dick Dave versus Bradshaw. I did like his title run, Bradshaw, but uh, gotta go Batista here. Rey Mysterio versus Billy Graham. 
God, Bill, look at look at Billy Graham's face. What a fucking dildo. Got to go Ray Ray here. Eddie Guerrero versus Bray Wyatt. I mean, come on. What are we even doing here? Macho Man versus Jey Uso. I mean, look, I love Jey, but what are we doing? Uh, Big Show versus uh, Ted DiBiase. This one's kind of a tricky one, too. Man, has anybody ever been booked worse than the Big Show? Uh, uh, fuck, I'll go Big Show. Just because Ted DiBiase never got thrown off a 40-story building and survived, uh, to my knowledge, whereas Big Show has, so... Um, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman could eat a giant bag of clown assholes. We're going Brock Lesnar here. All right, round, uh, ne next round. We got, oh, we got the two dudes with attitudes here. That's fun. We're having fun. Um, uh, Sean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just more versatile. Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. Hey, we just saw this match not too long ago. Um, I guess Roman. Goldberg's peak is my favorite. Like, you know what, man? Because, like, Goldberg's peak, I liked more than anything Roman Reigns has ever done. But I think Roman Reigns just is, is just a more well-rounded type of guy. So, edges Goldberg out, I think. Randy Orton versus... CM Punk. Got a lot of WrestleMania matches in this one. Um, see, uh, I have mixed feelings on CM Punk. I feel like he's vastly overvalued nowadays, but that does not mean he's not good. He's very good, especially in the early days. His style was so groundbreaking. Both his character and his matches. Um... Who do I like more? I gotta keep reminding myself. I might just go... Randy, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Rand, a lot of Randy Orton's career is pretty uninspiring. Like he, People say he's a good wrestler, but how many good Randy Orton matches can you think of off the top of your head? Probably not that many. <laughs> so, I think I might go CM Punk here. It might be a... Um... Might be controversial, but we're going punker. Sting versus Bret Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. I, I love Bret Hart. I would, I would kiss him on the mouth if I could. Um, Hogan versus Kofi Kingston. What a man, what a dream match this is. I just don't like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I get what he did for the business, man. Everything he does, it, it does not age well. Just his matches were shit. Couldn't do anything. Not athletic. He was had delicious pecs. Whereas Kofi has negative pecs, though. So that's also something we have to take into account. Um Kofi New Day though, man. I mean, come on. We're going yeah, we're going Kofi. You're supposed to be my friend! Uh Batista. No, Ray. Fuck. I don't know. Batista, for whatever reason, it's it's not a guilty pleasure. Cause I'm not guilty for liking Batista. I don't feel guilty about it. I'll I'll stand on top of a mountain and say and then tell everybody. But Ray, man, man, Ray's Ray's fucking Ray Mysterio, man. Still going today. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ray. I think Ray wins this one barely, barely though. Eddie versus Macho Man. Good googly moogly. Imagine if we saw... Wait, did we see this? We might have seen this in WCW. This might have been a match that happened. Um, Yeah. This is another tricky one because Macho is another guy. It's a little bit before my time, but I've gone back and watched a lot of his stuff and I love it. But Eddie, man. Eddie's Eddie. Just the intensity and the fucking go, go back and watch some Eddie Re Eddie Guerrero wrestling matches, man. You don't see you don't see that shit anymore. Uh, just the intent behind everything. I I love it. Yeah, Eddie Eddie's got this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Big Show versus Brock Lesnar, Royal Rumble 2003. 
rematch here, which, by the way, if you're interested in that, I would suggest you go check out my uh, latest episode of Apron Bump Podcast. <laughs> um, Brock Lesnar. I mean, come on. Is this even... Uh, why Why'd they even ask me that? Shawn Michaels versus Roman Reigns. Hmm. We're taking into account this shield run. I guess, right? From a shield to tribal chief. Um, man, this is a tough one. I think we go. Roman Reigns has had some really good matches. I think he slept on in the ring. I think overall, I think Roman Reigns might, at by the time it's all said and done, might have a better career. I'm gonna go Roman Reigns here, I think, guys. I mean, Sean never had, like, I mean, he was a good heel. I guess they were different kind of, kind of heels, though. He had, like, the chicken shit, like, cocky heel. And I guess that's kind of what Roman Reigns is. But he has more of, like, a brooding tone to him. So they're different. But, um, I mean, Roman has a good catalog of matches, too. And that's what, you know. I'm gonna go Roman. I'm going Roman here. I'm not gonna think too much about it. Oh, daddy. CM Punk versus Bret Hart. Yeah, we're going Bret Hart. Fuck CM Punk. Actually, I don't know why he made it that far. Kofi Kingston versus Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I gotta give this one to Rey. Rey's just, I mean, Kofi. Rey, Rey, Rey crawled so that Kofi could fly or some shit, right? Rey Mysterio. Eddie versus Brock. A little no way out. 04 action. You know what, man? If Eddie had kept going, obviously. I think it might be a different question, but you got to take into account the longevity. Although I guess Eddie had longevity, you know, by the time he passed. So, so has Brock Lesnar. Uh, wow, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I think Brock Lesnar is just so unique. I think it's kind of... He's undeniable in a lot of ways. He's he's always he has a presence to him that nobody else has. I think for that reason and that reason only, I might have to go Brock Lesnar here. People are gonna be mad. Whatever. We're going Brock. We got Roman versus Bret Hart. Um, uh, who do I like more? I think Bret Hart is just so good, man. But Roman has the character that Brett never really had. I gotta go. I, mm, gotta go Bret Hart. We gotta go Bret Hart. Ray versus Brock. Gotta go Brock. Gotta go Brock. I can't. I can't overthink these things. So who wins the Eastern Conference? I guess. Or they. This seems like the Canadian Conference. Um, Brock versus Bret Hart. What a match this would have been. Brock wins it. Brock wins it. I'm sorry. Brock wins it. So he's going to be in the finals, I guess. Brock Lesnar. Got Jared now. We, got, we go to the Western Conference. We got Undertaker versus Jerry the King Lawler. Yeah. Um, Ricky Steamboat versus Seth freaking Rollins. You know, him adding freaking to his name. Makes me want to pick Ricky Steamboat here, but can't. We got to go Seth. We got to go Seth on that one. Um, Rick Rude versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, can you, see, can you see the poster? I don't know if that's in frame. We're going Shin. We're going Shinsuke here. It's going to be a top contender going forward. Booker T versus Sheamus. Both very underrated, I think. I might go Booker here. I think Booker is the more entertaining of the two. But Sheamus is just on a hot run right now. Um, shit. Let's go Sheamus. Let's go Sheamus with this one. Lex Luger versus Umaga. Lex Luger. I'm not. I'm not a member. I'm not aboard the Lex Express. If anybody's wondering. So we're going Umaga. Triple H versus The Miz. I guess Triple H, right? You gotta go. 
you gotta go you gotta go gamer right here right dusty Rhodes versus the ultimate warrior yeah i mean dusty got that he's that's an easy one rick flair versus big quiche thunder buns i'm gonna be honest <laughs> i want to go rikishi here oh, look at that face look at him he's here to make a difference fuck it let's go rick flair carlito versus john cena big fan of alito we gotta go jan jan and now if jesus was with carlito it'd probably be a different story um vince mcmahon versus the iron sheik what uh, fuck you. Why is Vince on here? Uh, Arn Anderson versus Ryback. The Ryback. Ryback doesn't have a DDT like Arn Anderson. So get your block out. Gold Dust versus Samoa Joe. This is an interesting one. Samoa. I mean, Samoa Joe is the top one for me. I do like the Gold Dust, but Samoa Joe is just as fun to watch in the ring as anybody, and on the mic. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Dean Ambrose. I guess this includes John Moxley under this, you know, whatever. I do like the Bammer. Hmm. I think John Moxley is a bit of a cornball. We got to remember this is who I like, not who is the best. We're going Bam Bam because, you know. Fuck off, John. Kurt Angle versus Dolphin Ziggler. We going Kurt. We going Kurt. Big E versus Paula Orndorff. Stupid ass. I do like that. Paul Orndorff is fine, but come on. Big E. Look at those. Look at those. Look at the striations. Stone Cold versus MVP. God damn it. Why is MVP facing Stone Cold here? I love MVP. But he's no Stone Cold. All right. Undertaker versus Seth Rollins. We gotta go take. We gotta go take here. Shinsuke versus Sheamus. This Shinsuke. Easy. Umaga versus Triple H. You know what? I like Umaga more than I've liked Triple H. Oh, God. It's just tricky, though, because Umaga was a thing for such a short period of time. Whereas Triple H, I think uh, Triple H has a less percentage of awesome stuff, but he's had more over a longer period of time, if that makes any sense. Um, God damn it. We gotta go trips, I guess, right? I think we got to. Dusty versus Flair. Wow. How the, how the, how that, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. We go in, uh, we gotta go Flair. I mean, I'm sorry. We gotta go Flair. John Cena versus the Iron Sheik. Now, this is a match that needs to happen somehow. We could make it happen, I think. Sheiky baby. I'm sorry. We gotta go Johnny. Arn Anderson versus Joey Samoe. Man. I love me some Arn Anderson. I love me a double A spine buster, but god damn it, Samoa Joe. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Kurt Angle. Gotta go Kurt. Big E versus Stone Cold. Gotta go Stoner. Shinny Boy versus Big Take. Gotta go Shinny Den. Den Den. Triple H versus Flair. Triple H. Try not to overthink these. Samoa Joe versus John Cena. I'm telling you, man. Uh, Kurt versus Stone Cold. Shit on my dick. Kurt Angle. I think Kurt Angle is just the more complete wrestler. Peak Stone Cold might have been higher than anything that Kurt ever reached. But Kurt just was timeless for a while. For a while. Is that a oxymoron? Uh, Shinsuke versus Triple H. Shinsuke wins that one. Classic TNA matchup here. We got Kurt versus Joe. Joe edges him out, I think. And now we got Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe. Wowzers. Um. Uh, we go with some. Um, hmm. I think Joe's got, I mean, Joe, I mean, his ROH run, his TNA run, all of that, plus the stuff he's done in WWE and AEW, 
kind of having a rebirth in ROH now. Shinsuke's had a lot of great success in Japan. I've enjoyed a lot of his Japan stuff. Some of his WWE stuff I've enjoyed, but it's just been too lackluster, I think, in the past couple of years. So we might have to go Joe. Which brings us to Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. And I think the winner of this is who should have been the winner at Great Balls of Fire 2017 or whatever year it was. Joey Samoe. So Samoa Joe wins, folks. So now all your questions have been answered that I'm sure have been burning a hole through your brain. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, well, go fuck your mother, I guess. I don't know.